Hi guys, um, recently uh, received my uh, Montage 6. Um, I saw on one of the reviews on uh, montages that there was an external display connected. So there were a lot of questions on how to connect, what to connect, and uh, yeah, I found out that there are some display adapters which you can buy and actually work. The first one I've bought was a StarTech adapter, and that's this one from StarTech.com. And you see in the blue color, it's, I mean, it's hard to see, but it's USB 3.0. Um, I'm going to connect it to the montage. First, switch it off. Uh, let's find the port, this port, the USB connection. I'm going to connect my VGA adapter from my display. It's a VGA. Not deviate, but DVI. But now let's see. Now it's connected, as you see. Power up the montage and wait. Montage is powering up. Um, Nothing happens. Screen is on, you can see it perhaps over here, the light. Yeah. Um, I found out that USB 3 um, doesn't work. Why? I thin think simply because the power output from the USB port from the montage is um, not enough for USB 3.0. This uses a little bit more of uh, power and simply doesn't work. So we're going to switch it off. Take it out. So since this doesn't work, I bought some other devices. One of them, one of them is this device. It's a Koenig. Perhaps it's available outside Europe, I don't know, but uh, I'll put the links in, uh, in the video below. Um, on one side it has a USB, I think it's B, it's a small small connection like, like this one. Yeah. You get the cable with the adapter, the card, the display card, and it's a DVI. Um, you also get a connector in case you don't have DVI, you see this is the adapter. This is the male adapter, and it goes to VGA. Since my screen or display is VGA, you simply connect this one to. Uh, let's have a look to the display card. Connect the VGA, the USB cable, and put the other end, this one, in your montage. So it's connected. Now simply connect the VGA cable to your external display card and power up the montage. What I've noticed, if you power up your uh, montage and afterwards uh, connect your cable, it doesn't work. If you do it before, you get a green screen over here, and there it is. So when I press now motion control, you go to motion control. When you go to mixing, you get the mixing. So actually the display works nice and smooth. Yeah. This is a device which I plugged in now. 2.0 graphics adapter. I don't know about the specs, but you can check it out for yourself. My maximum resolution is 1400 by 
than 50. Yeah. And my screen is uh, 1440 by 900, so works perfectly. I'm going to power off the montage, take out the adapter, disconnect the display. Um, I also have another device. It's from StarTech.com, which will be available, I think, especially for USA customers or worldwide. And that's this one. That's basically 1920 by 1200, so full HD resolution. Also USB 2.0 powered. And it looks like this. Yeah, this is the device. On one hand, we have the USB 2.0 connection. On the other hand, we have the VGA connector. It's also available in VDVI, and I also think it's um, HDMI. So, this is a little bit more expensive, but you can check out on the website of StarTech. I connect the display and USB. Power up the montage. You get the green screen. Just wait, don't panic. And also, you see over here the adapter works and the display is exactly as on the screen when you go to mixing. The response is pretty quick, so there's not a lot of delay. So it's yeah, it actually works. It's uh, it's quite nice. Uh, I like it because it's uh, yeah, to me it's an additional value. I mean, you have to press the screen anyway. Touch screens don't work as far as I know, but perhaps in a future firmware update this will be made available. So display adapters work, and I should. But um, what about other devices then? I mean, we have the display adapter. The display adapter works on USB. Will a mouse work or a keyboard or whatever? Um, to be honest, I al already checked a mouse. Um, mouse doesn't work <laughs> simply because the fact you don't have a cursor. Yeah. What I have over here is a trust wireless keyboard with a mouse wheel or scroll. Uh, ball, whatever, how you call it, it's wireless. So, this works with a wireless adapter, also 2.0, you see, everybody knows these things. So I'm going to next is plug in the wireless adapter, fire up the montage, I will wait. I have the keyboard over here, and it, it works. Problem is, <laughs> you don't see it, because I had to disconnect my screen. There's only one USB connection over there. So my next thought was, okay, so what if I use a USB hub? Well, I'm going to show you. I'm going to just disconnect quickly the wireless adapter, you see. And now what I also have somewhere over here, yeah, here it is. I have a USB hub. Uh, it's basically a simple device. Uh, it has four USB ports, as you see. This one is the power. It uses USB power as well as uh, power from your adapter. But uh, I found out this, uh, this is not going to work, it's going to mess up your, uh, your montage. So don't use a powered adapter from the main network. Um, I'm going to plug in my USB hub in the montage. Next I'm going to do first is plug in my external display adapter. 
power up the montage. Green screen. And there it is. So also with a powered USB hub, you can get your, let's see, display to work. Now, next I'm going to do is I have a, a USB stick because uh, your USB port now has been disabled um, by the use of the hub. So that means you can't save any presets on a USB stick. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to put in my USB stick. And there you see, you saw, USB stick connected. Now when I go to the utility button, and I'm going to go to contents, as you see, uh, display is not... There is my disk. So actually, when you use a powered USB hub, you can also use an additional USB stick. And to me, that's an additional value. Yeah, you can load your songs, your performances, and uh, whatever. Yeah. When you have them on the on, on your USB stick library import, you see I have the this. Yeah, I don't know if you can read it, but this is the boson dog, so it's actually reading from from the the stick. Okay, so this works. And finally, I still have my USB wireless keyboard, which I'm gonna plug in now. All the way around. So now my keyboard is in place. I'll show you that I'm not faking. And now when I touch the arrow buttons, you see also the arrow buttons work. Problem is um, when you want to select something and uh, start to edit, you press the enter button, nothing happens. Escape. I try a lot of keys, uh, it doesn't work. So, is this uh, an additional uh, value or I don't know. It's easy to switch, of course, between patches, but uh, nah, I don't know. I think it's uh, quicker to use a screen. Anyway, so far, my um, review on USB devices connecting to the montage. I don't have a an iPad, unfortunately, so I'm, I'm not able to test, and I'm not going to test uh, connections to iPad. As far as I know, uh, USB 3.0 doesn't work, touch screen don't work, um, and you have to make sure you uh, connect all your stuff to the montage before you uh, power it up, except for your USB hub. If you use B hub, at least that's my experience, or first disc of connect your display, Start up your montage and then uh, put in a USB stick or a wireless key or whatever. But don't put everything in uh, before you start up the montage because then your screen doesn't work. Um, an additional gimmick uh, which I've used quite some time now, not only on this one but also on all my other things, is um, you see. This is uh, just a 5-pin MIDI connection, and this is a little small LED light. When you put this LED light, now let's find the connection in your MIDI out or your MIDI through. You see, you will have a nice light, and if it's dark, you can always light your touch screen or your settings or your faders or whatever. You even can use two um, on the MIDI through and the MIDI out part. That's all for now guys. Uh, thanks for watching and hope to see you soon on YouTube with 
nice demo songs of the montage. <laughs>